David, I always love looking at different five axis machines. I've reviewed this one on quite a few occasions at DTS, uh, at their headquarters in Preston. Now they have sold quite a few of them around um, the UK, one installation being here. The big aspect is the build of these, isn't it? Tell us what you like about the Litz. It is a fantastic machine. Very, very accurate. Holds its accuracy. We've had it now in here for three years and it's never missed a beat. Um, our CMM operators tell us that what comes off here is the best they have ever seen. That's an incredible endorsement. Now, what would you put that down to? The way the machine is, is built, like with this bridge construction, um, everywhere being fully supported. Yeah, that's one aspect of it, is the bridge construction, and keeping it all nice and solid for the X and the Y axis and the Z. But actually on the table itself as well, the ta rotary table is a very, very strong German construction table. And we're, we are really, really impressed with it. Yeah, us. you only have to look at it to see that it's, it's some engineered part, isn't it? Yes. And, and, and yeah. looks like it's very well supported both sides. So you've not got like a knuckle hanging, you've got a fully supported two axis yeah, table there. Exactly that, it's fully, fully supported between the two gimbals there. Yeah. How long have you had this? Because I mean, um, DTS brand these as their pro-design lits range, don't they? Yeah. How, how long has it been here, did you say? So it's been here about three years, three to four years, yeah. And the control system that you use here is from, you guys are familiar with this because you run this pretty much throughout your machine shop, the Heidenhain, don't you? Yeah, nearly all the machines that we've got are Heidenhain on our milling section. The only exception would be our turning section where we've got fan ups. What I like about this particular machine as well, having looked at it in the past, is the access. Now this roof can go right the way back, can't it? Yes. Now I'm, I'm assuming you might, from looking at your company, you're making some very large parts. If you wanted to put something on this table that needed craning, that's entirely possible. Yeah, very possible. Not just hit the switch here, it goes back, we get the crane in and lower the job onto the table. Um, what about the swarf evacuation on here as well? That, that looks like it's, it's pretty much central to the base of the machine. So if that table's tipped up, is that where it falls? Yeah, it falls down into the bottom here and then the conveyors take it to the back of the machine. And, and what about the tooling environment and the tool changer on here? It's very well positioned because it's positioned at the back of the machine on both sides of the columns and we've got 32 tool changes and it just goes straight to the back, changes very quickly back into the machining environment. And I suppose that's why you've got, or you're able to maintain that quite large working envelope in here, isn't it? Exactly, yeah, exactly yeah. that. Um, your spindle on here, 12,000 RPM. Is that not sometimes too high for some of your harder materials? Or does the spindle cope at the low ends as well? It copes very well at the low end. Like you say, at 12,000, we do a lot of aluminiums on here as well, so we need them revs. But when we need to do lower revs, when we're cutting on Inconoles or um, Hasloys or something like that, it still copes very, very well. Um, are you surprised that DTS bought this machine into their portfolio? Looks like a good fit. It's an excellent fit. It's an excellent fit because we've got their larger machines, their Correas, and now this, it's a perfect fit for DTS. Thank you.